Hi. This is my aquarium, and I noticed this different behavior. But let's start with what type of freshwater fish they are. African cichlids are native to the freshwater lakes of Africa, particularly Lake Malawi, Lake Tanganyika, and Lake Victoria. I want to share with you what to look for when a cichlid is ready to breed. The female being the egg producer will develop a wider growth around her belly region noticeably, broader than her male counterpart. Often this widening of the belly region is the first indicator of your cichlid gender. This is especially true when they are a cichlid species where the males and females remain. Identical as she begins to develop eggs within her body, that is usually enough of a sign to gather some male's attention. Once he realizes she is ready to spawn, he begins his work. The male will get busy excavating a brooding area for his intended cichlids like digging out a shallow pit with a flat bottom by removing the substrate with their mouth and spitting it elsewhere. These here prefer using the little rocks at the bottom of the aquarium. There are some who are happy on top of a flat rock in a cave or a terracotta pod. Now this couple doesn't seem to be too worried about their location. This male tries to win the affection of his female partner. He performs a romantic dance of movements, which includes shaking, shivering, and spreading of his wings to impress her. His intended plan is to lure her back to this breeding area to procreate. When she's ready to breed her vent, which is located by her anal fin, will slowly start to. Protrude resembling a small round nub eventually developing into to more of a point when she is close to dropping her eggs. Now it's at this point that she is quite receptive to the male and happily will follow him. They begin by turning in a circle shaking as they turn the female will drop the egg in the male will emit milt or sperm around the egg. Now the fascinating part is the female will then scoop the egg up into her mouth with the milt fertilizing the egg. This process can take up to a few hours, as each female will drop one to two eggs each time they turn, often having as many as 50 eggs to drop. With all these other fish in the tank, you can see a number of interruptions as they continue this dance. They will stop periodically to shoo off intruders, so the whole spawning process can take quite a while. The first time you witness this it's really an amazing process to watch however if you happen to miss the spawning of it itself you will find the female is most likely hanging out in a secluded spot possibly near the bottom of the aquarium sporting a puffed out face indicating that she is holding her new brood of eggs this is one of life's many miracles. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet so that you can see the results of the eggs in her mouth and possibly the new babies. African cichlids are a fascinating group of freshwater fish known for their vibrant colors, diverse behaviors, and popularity among aquarium enthusiasts. African cichlids are renowned for their stunning array of colors, ranging from electric blues and yellows to fiery oranges and reds. These colors serve various purposes, including species recognition, mate attraction, and territorial displays. Their diversity extends beyond color to include different body shapes and fin configurations, making each species unique in appearance. They are primarily found in rocky habitats around the lakes, where they have adapted to various niches based on their feeding and breeding behaviors. Some species are rock dwellers, inhabiting crevices and caves, while others are sand dwellers or open water swimmers. This diversity in habitats has contributed to the evolution of specialized behaviors and physical traits among different species. African cichlids exhibit complex social behaviors. Many species are known for their aggression, particularly males defending territories or establishing dominance hierarchies within their groups. This behavior is often more pronounced during breeding seasons when males compete for females and spawning sites. In community aquariums, careful consideration is needed to manage aggression and prevent conflicts among different species. Their diet in the wild varies widely depending on the species and their habitat. Some are herbivorous, feeding on algae and plant matter, while others are carnivorous, preying on smaller fish and invertebrates. In captivity, 
Their diet can be supplemented with high-quality commercial foods that cater to their specific nutritional needs. African cichlids are highly popular among aquarium hobbyists due to their vibrant colors, interesting behaviors, and relatively hardy nature. They are often kept in specially designed aquarium setups that mimic their natural habitats, with plenty of rocks, caves, and hiding spots. Proper water parameters, including pH and hardness, are crucial for their health and well-being. In summary, African cichlids are not only visually striking but also exhibit a range of fascinating behaviors that make them a favorite among aquarium enthusiasts worldwide. Their adaptability and diverse ecological roles in African lakes continue to intrigue researchers and hobbyists alike, ensuring their enduring popularity in the aquarium trade.